Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Day and Gamers, and welcome to Medieval Engineers. Today, we're going to be looking at the unseen structural integrity. Now, if you don't know what structural integrity is, it's basically the formula that allows many buildings to stand, dealing with the ability of a structure to actually support a certain weight or force that acts upon it. And in that way, basically, if you don't build your building correctly, it's going to break under the stress. Now, I do warn you, we're looking at a very early build of structural integrity, as well as the game itself. So you may see a few errors here and there, but they're constantly evolving the actual structural integrity itself, making it better and adding more features to it. So let's go into a little bit more detail about structural integrity. What does it mean for you? How is it going to affect your playstyle? Well, first off, it means you're going to have to build your buildings with structural integrity in mind. Now, as you can see here, we're taking the pillars out of this bridge, and that is weakening the structural integrity of the bridge itself. So it takes one or two more hits, and the whole bridge is going to come down above and collapse because it's no longer supported. Just a great demonstration of the structural integrity. I had to reverse it, though. Look how amazing this looks in reverse as it reassembles itself and goes back to the top. Wow, just really beautiful game indeed. Now, these blocks are showing the actual structural integrity itself. You can see the red ones have a lot of weight and a lot of force put upon them. The green ones are relatively safe. You can see in the archways on the left as the stress is passing through the archways as that structure is actually collapsing next door. And the stress has caused the archways to break down and it's spreading up the tower causing that to break as well just a really interesting sort of mechanic and it's going to really require some interesting sense when it comes to battling or just constructing a little fortress of your own now this is something that's showing the distribution of weight now each one of them balls at the bottom is showing how that individual block you can see how we've got with the blue is actually spreading its weight along the other columns so you can see it's well spread out and it's well supported meaning this structure is staying up straight but it wouldn't take too much on these axes to actually destroy the structure you can see we've got two going through the pillars and two going through the actual block tower as well as it being spread out now we've got another tower here we're going to actually destroy and you'll watch and see how it comes crumbling down when the support below and the weight just becomes too much for the rest you'll also notice it pulls the blocks that are nearby so we've got the debug menu up on these arches and i thought it was quite interesting to actually see how strong the arches actually are and you can see the stress points and the orange and the different sorts of pressure put on you can also see measurements of each force and weight that's being put on that block and that angle of each four corners and you can see how it's spreading out and it's just fractured the whole bottom section and it's going to collapse and since that structure up at the top is still quite sound it means that it's just going to fall on its side very interesting you can see there's a little bit more crack in there as well now we've got the debug off this time and we're going to do a little bit more of an angle attack these archways are extremely strong and they take a lot of damage before they'll actually break apart but when they break apart they fall apart absolutely beautifully and you see hitting the areas up at the top causes not too much damage because there's not too much weight and force being placed upon them but one cannonball to the bottom has started a wave through them archways and it's all starting to crumble and fracture under the weight of the blocks above now you can see a little bit of a problem here as the last block falls away and the tower actually collapses on itself amazing absolutely beautiful to actually watch and look at so when it comes to building your buildings, you're probably wondering, can I build a simple sort of guard tower under this structure? Well, using four legs is probably not the most advisable idea, because once one of them four legs goes, the rest of the tower is going to go under the weight, because it simply can't support itself. So you're going to have to get really smart on how you're going to build and structure them correctly. Now, we've got three towers together. A tower on its own would be quite weak, but you can see, as if we destroy one of these towers... The whole structure is going to pull apart and they're not just working and breaking downwards they're actually pulling the blocks outwards so you can see as it shatters that one tower knocks into the other then that tower topples onto the other tower and it just brings everything down in a crumbling mess absolutely beautiful can't wait to be knocking down some towers now let's move on to this next clip now we've got another little structure and i'm going to show you how not to build something here this this structure was was bound to fail it just wasn't very smartly built you've got little platforms everywhere and each one has to basically support a whole lot of weight but the individual structure in the middle seems quite sound until it falls into the other tower and it just crinkles apart a little bit of slow down there 
but remember this is very early on in the structural integrity sort of process absolutely beautiful just a crumbling mess of blocks now after building a massive castle and someone destroying it you'd be very upset very upset indeed i'd have to say but on the other hand got some other angles now you can see as we're firing cannonballs at this wall it's not as wimpy as you may think the walls can sustain sort of quite a bit of hammer it's only if you start placing these shots in quite critical areas so you see the bottom of this tower here is going to actually pull the wall down along you're just trying to make them structural areas actually falter under their own weight and you can see as that part knocks into that bit it starts to stretch across pulling up the actual tower itself and collapsing the whole of the walkway absolutely amazing once again how this system's going to work it's going to affect battles so much now we're hitting the bottom of this tower once again with some more cannonballs to see how it'll fall away and under the weight it's actually going to fracture and break away now for this little test i'm going to show you we have a player he weighs a standard sort of weight here at the normal weight of a man you can see how he's not affected any of the blocks in the debug menu he just walks across casually but if we increase his weight you can see how some of the blocks are starting to turn orange as he crosses now just imagine a cart crossing heavily laden with some wood ore and it's too heavy for the bridge and it starts to collapse the bridge behind it and as you can see as we walk back the red blocks start to cause fractures and the structure of the bridge becomes damage belong repair now let's head down to the forest and have a look at some trees and how they destroy now imagine clearing the way for your castle clearing this forest out to build your small tavern or maybe a little village in the forest and you're going to have to pick up all these logs and collect them maybe even build a machine to cut the logs down for you just absolutely beautiful as they splinter and fall down very early stages but it looks absolutely amazing now i've also done a video on the space engineers channel showing some different features of structural integrity as well so head over there and check that out and i'll see you next time